Well, the NBA season is just around the corner. Is this the year that the Sixers will bring home the championship? Oh, is there a reason I always read this like the championship, the Super Bowl, like just in case? Just in case. We jinx it. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say a word. I was going to say Never. a word. Never. One game at a time. She caught on. <laughs> uh, okay, let's talk about this. <laughs> Two words come to mind. Pain and suffering. The last time we saw Joel Embiid on the court, he had a broken face and an injured hand. But time heals all wounds. Well, time and surgery. Today, the Sixers are back in uniform for the first time since May. And Pat Gallen has the latest on Media Day. With a strengthened roster surrounding its two main stars, the Sixers look primed for a title run. Just don't tell them that. Does this to you, with the collection of talent you have, feel like a championship or bust type scenario? I don't even know what that is. I believe this. This is the best talent I've had since I've been here. What that means is what it will become. You know, we have to become a team. You know, uh, having a collection of individuals is great, but that says nothing about a team. The Sixers will go as far as Joel Embiid and James Harden take them. But last year, with the Ben Simmons drama lingering, the team fell short of expectations. Who's drama? A former teammate of yours. Uh, I don't remember any of that. Okay, so Embiid doesn't remember. He's only looking forward. I'm feeling great. Uh, I was in bad all, all summer, so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm feeling great. Uh, you know, healthy, uh, ready to go, uh, ready to compete. As for Harden, he's looking forward to camp so that this team can gel. And he jokes that he lost 100 pounds in the offseason. But he's also keeping an eye on another team in town. The Eagles are, are playing very, very well right now, um, especially defensively. And, I mean, Jalen Hurts looks really, really good. So I think the city is excited about what the Eagles are doing right now. Here at Media Day, Doc Rivers raved about the leadership of Tobias Harris and also said they had to do everything in their power to keep Tyrese Maxey out of the gym. They didn't want him to overdo it. Several other players talked about the addition of P.J. Tucker. George Niang said that he loves that Tucker's willing to run through a brick wall for his team to win. In Camden, I'm Pat Gallen, CBS3 Eyewitness Sports. Thanks, Pat. The Sixers have their first preseason game next Monday in Brooklyn against Ben Simmons and the Nets.